Namaste. Look, I'm not going to lie to you. I've been slacking a little bit on the Dark Aether, but mainly because I've been dreading this challenge. But today we'll be aligning our chakras because in our last video, our top comment was from Biggie Rolls saying that we can do any gun on any map, but every five rounds, we have to do an increasingly difficult yoga pose. So that's what we're doing today. But they also said that we can upgrade any perk by three tiers. And the only perk we haven't upgraded yet is Elemental Pop. So I'll do that real quick. And before we get into it, if you want to leave any weapon upgrade or challenge suggestions, go ahead and leave it in a comment down below. I'll have a comment there as well with everything that we've already completed. So make sure you check that out first. That way you don't get any repeats. And I'm going to call it a little bit of an audible here because we learned from last time when we were playing Putt Putt Saves the Zoo every five rounds is that five rounds is not a whole lot of time to get anything done. So I'm still going to do the yoga pose thing, but I'm going to do it every 10 rounds. And they did say to try to go to a higher round and we will be doing that because since I've been slacking on our weapons here for Dark Aether, I'm going to try to get a few guns done today. Now you might have seen that I put out that Cold War weapon XP guide and I got a few weapons done there, but there are still a few weapons like this Mac. 10 that I got most of the camos done for, but not everything. So I'm starting out with the MAC-10 here, but I'm gonna try to get at least this and the M14 done. And then if we're still alive and we're still going through the game, I'm gonna try to get the RPD done as well. But we're already almost at round five and we've been in this game for less than a minute, I think. So we gotta hold off just a little bit from doing the yoga. And since I was doing that XP thing, I was getting a lot of these weapons leveled up in Onslaught Containment. So I got a lot of camos done for them. And the only thing I really need to do for most of these weapons is get critical kills, which shouldn't be too difficult, but I guess we'll see. Depending on how long we're in this game for, I haven't really tried to get camos at like a higher round. I think the highest round we unlocked camos at is probably like round 40 something, because that's around the time that we're done with all of our critical kills for each weapon. But my main concern going into this is that once we reach like higher rounds that have abominations is that we're going to have to have like a death machine or something to deal with them. Because those things are tanky. All right, we're at round nine. We are very close to doing our first pose. We got a double points going though. So let me try to rack up as many points as I can. Hopefully not go down. Give me that armor. And there's round 10. All right. I'm gonna pick up this decoy and pause it. Another issue I was having for this challenge is I didn't know where to find like increasingly more difficult yoga poses. So I'm just gonna look some up on YouTube. Uh, yoga poses... Or beginners. I'll try that. Beginners yoga series. 10 most important yoga poses for beginners. We'll, we'll do this one first. Videos from Venter Yoga are not intended to diagnose, treat, or cure. Cure or prevent any disease. Who thinks doing downward dog is going to cure them of their cancer? Okay, what's our first pose looking like? When we come to standing, uh, you want to think about keeping your feet together. Okay. Lift your thighs up. And now just try to do a balancing on your toes, keeping that engagement in the core. No way the first pose is Yamsa. just standing. Okay, and, we can do this. I played Wii Fit down. before. And I know what some of this down. is. Well, let's try this one out. Now, I don't know if my microphone will pick me up, so I'm going to record on my phone as well. well. Let me zoom this out so you guys can actually see what's going on. Okay, let's get the instructions one more time. So you're going to be balanced on the feet and raise from your heels as you bring your hands to the sky. I got it. Let me turn my fan off before I... Cut my fingers off. Okay, on the abdomen here, bring the hands down. And you bring your hands up as you're going up on the, the tippy toes. I just hit my fan. Woo! And then we bring it back down. One more time. All right. I fucked it up. Do it again. Ah. Uh, Oh, this next one's gonna be tough. Okay, that was a good little introductory pose. It's gonna be a weird fucking video, but at least we're gonna learn some shit today. Let's use one more ring of fire, and then we'll go ahead and progress through the map. Oh, and we're gonna go down. Nope. What a beautiful nuke. Couldn't have asked for a better time to get a nuke. All right, let's go ahead and start up our portal. All right, our portal's done. Let's hop through. And this time around, we're not doing any sort of rainbow perk challenge, so I can grab whatever perks that I want. I'll be grabbing Jug since we're right by it. A little stamina up. Might as well grab Quick Revive too. And Tombstone. Psych. All I want is a loose change. Okay, we're gonna need this for later. Give me my free RK token. That's how we're gonna be able to get our M14. Uh, almost said 16. It's more popular, older brother. Or is it younger? I, I feel like the M14 is older than the M16, despite the numbers. I'll be taking that. I'm gonna need Deadshot if we're gonna get any of these weapons done. Give me that Fryer. And we need the Fleshlight, and we're all good to go. Let me grab Mule Kick because we're actually gonna need this today. And let's see if we can squeeze in this rebuild. We can. Dumbass zombies. And now we can have a chat with our abomination pal. Okay, that's one head gone already. Bitch made abomination. Two heads gone. 
And that should be it right there. Easy. Easiest abomination fight of my life. Lockdown. Lifted. Loose change. Grabbed. Pack a punch. Acquired. Let's try not to forget to grab pack three this time around. And since we're in the area, let's go ahead and try to grab that M14. On the arcade token. And I just can't mess this up. I need to be able to get through these rounds or these, these pseudo rounds with enough ammo to get all the way through. I don't remember if I can like afford to like headshot them all. Well, already shot three bullets at that one, dude. Okay. Collat right there. That makes up for it at least a little bit. Why am I double clicking? Hold on. Let me adjust my pro controller. There we go. Easy. Breezy. Beautiful. I think we might have fumbled this already. What's in here? Any ammo? Yeah, I didn't think so. Beautiful. Cover girl. I forgot where I was in that whole string of words. We just gotta try to make it through this with the 14 bullets that we have. I think we might get our M14 after the pseudo round. Holy! Hit a shot! Because I do not have my melee upgraded, so I can't just sit here and knife the zombies. I just swing my pistol at them. And they have way more health than a normal zombie. But please say this is the M14. Yes, sir. Or DMR14. Whatever, dude. Sue me. Basically the same gun. Now let's see if we can finish the rest of this. We only have 30 seconds to get the rest done. Oh, only three bullets. We hit a clat though. Out of ammo. We gotta beat his ass. We hit back too, buddy. Let's go. With no ammo left. Give me that full power. Now get me out of here. Actually, you know what? We'll be frugal. Let's get a few extra points here. All right, that saved us the effort of going and trying to find that later. There's probably a wall buy for it somewhere, honestly. I just have no idea. Maybe I should run around the map looking at all the wall buys to see what's here before I start hitting the box until I get the RPD. Because the RPD, I know for sure I need to get like over a thousand crits on it. The DMR? Or the... Is it the DMR? Oh, I got it right. Look at me. But the DMR, I only need like 500 or so crits on. And going into this game, I needed like 600 crits on my Mac 10. So in total, we're going to have to get like 2,000 something crits for a bunch of different weapons. But we should be able to get our SMGs Plague Diamond today and our TAC rifles. And then we'll be one uh, LMG away from getting all of our LMGs done. Actually, you know what? Maybe go do uh, the Derizon Drac challenge. Maybe we'll get our RPG dropped from this box. Because all we have to do is this little outbreak dragon d's event go ahead and eat up mr dragon you're gonna give me a good reward for all this watch it actually be the crystal axe like the one time i'm begging for just like a common rpd i'm gonna get the wonder weapon or the ray gun that's just what's gonna happen i think that's all of them give me a good reward rpd please mm, ksp you must have misheard me all right well that didn't work uh, we got an MP5 over here. I'm gonna go check out all these wall buys. I know we got like a Diamati and like a 1911 in spawn. There's an XM4. Honestly, wall buys in this game like barely get used besides like the Diamatis and the M16. Those are the only two wall buys I think I've ever used in this game. M82, we don't need that. FFAR. We still got some ARs to do too. There's our QBZ. Was it the Milano? What we got on this side of the map? The Gallo. Actually, yeah, I've used the Gallo all by a few times. Oh, there's an abomination. What's up, bitch? Head already gone. No head for you. We got the PP over here. Is this the DMR? Are you kidding me? Why is there two ways to get the DMR? I could have just went over here and bought it. Why don't they have an RPD mini game? This abomination's getting smoked. I'm not. Ex I was not expecting the Mac 10 to do so much damage to it. I'm sure it's gonna fall off. You know, once we start getting into later rounds, but right now it's kind of decimating them. And this wall buy is the Hauer. How are these nuts? How do they taste? You enjoy them? I'm actually going crazy. I don't think there's an RPD wall buy, so we're gonna have to spin the box for it. All right, now let's play the game of where the fuck is the box? I would rather get it now. You know, sooner is better than later. So I'm not trying to fumble over the box during a high round or something. Let's hit this guy. And a sledgehammer. Not even close. I might just have to dwindle this round down. Honestly, I don't even know why I chose this map now that I'm thinking about it. I only really wanted to hop on here because I knew there was a one guaranteed way to get the M14, but there was just a wall buy for it. There's probably a wall buy for it on multiple maps. I, I should have just picked the one that had both of them as a wall buy. It's whatever. Actually, I'm gonna spin this in between rounds. Nope, don't need that. I'll pick it up though, just so I can spin again. Nope, power Ds. Iron hide, gross, disgusting, and bunny. Okay, well, I'm just gonna hang on to the Hauer because I'd rather not have the iron sight even in my inventory. Okay, where's the box spawn at now? This is gonna be a nightmare to get this RPD. And then watch me get it and then go down. That'd be terrible. Honestly, I should probably switch my uh, DMR to like my third weapon slot just to be safe because I know I can always get the DMR back. Let me do that real quick. I'll switch it out with the bullfrog. 
switch out the DMR. And then switch my bullfrog for the DMR. There we go. Zombies math. And this should be the last zombie. Now we're on to round 20. We got to do another yoga pose. But first, I need to take a little tinkle. Okay, what's our next pose here? We have to do this. I have to bring my leg all the way up to my nuts and balance on it. How? Okay, let me let me pause this on the pose. And I'll recreate it. All right. Let's see if I can do this. Bring the leg up to the nuts. I'm going to fall over. Hold on. Okay, we got it. It's there. Almost. It's sliding. Hold on. Ah, uh, I got the Versace's on. Stop playing. I got the Versace's on. Stop playing. I got the Versace's on. Stop playing. I've got the Versace's on. Stop playing. I've got the Versace's on. Stop playing. Okay. I'm good at this shit. I actually might be too good at this whole yoga thing. I just can't be stopped. I never checked out the wall bias here. It is the Diamati, like I said, and the 1911. Yeah, nothing of use in here. This challenge is just so fucking odd, dude. How do you guys even come up with this shit? How we go from putt putt saves the zoo to doing yoga. Zombies is basically the side game at this point. But I got 43,000. Let's go pack a punch. We'll get this to pack two and then I'll be fine for now. So I think we're getting pretty close to getting this done. But where's the box at? The box moved and I have no idea to where. I don't see the line anywhere. Where's the beacon? I didn't see it in spawn. I'm not seeing it over here. Where did they put it? Is the box just gone now? What happened? It does not exist. Is there a part of the map that I'm forgetting about? If I'm not seeing the beacon... Okay, it's right there, actually. Is that spawn? No way it's in spawn. I was just there. I didn't see it. Oh, I'm an idiot. I know where it is. I didn't check this area out at all. Also, there's a wall by in here, but it's the Pellington. I did completely forget about an area of the map. It's got to be nice to have, like, a functioning brain. Like, for as long as I played this game, how do I forget so much? Maybe there's an RPG wall by on this side of the map that'd be sweet and since there's a fire cell going let's just hit that rpd maybe is that it no it looks like a grav oh and there we go we got plague diamond smgs baby that's another weapon class down now we can start working on our dmr there's a 74u wall by any rpds laying around nope m60 that's close we're getting there but we might be shit out of luck good thing we didn't pack a punch our mac 10 all the way to three that would have been a waste of points Let's get this pack a punched at least to two. They're probably upgraded as well. But we'll get there when we get there. Oh, you know what I should have done? I'm an idiot. I should have made little custom classes or, you know, custom builds for all the weapons I was planning on doing. That way I had a nice camo grinding build for each of them. I think I just have this one with no attachments. I guess we could re-roll the attachments, but then you end up just having some like weird scope on it. I'm starting to think the box does not exist. Unless I was in that spot that I was just at. It is here. I'm an idiot. I thought I was just there for the fire sale. Oh, the crystal axe. Don't need it, but cool pull. RPD, please. Chopper gunner. Not really what I'm looking for. A, a DMR. Our third time getting it. We're gonna pull every weapon out of the box before we get the RPD. Oh, there's one more wall by right here. Not what we need, though. I just want to move this box spawn, though, because it's in such an inconvenient place. It's so dangerous over here. And the bunny. Okay, that's fine. Go move to a better spot. Dumbass box. Has the box landed yet? Yeah, it has. I'm coming. Come on. Motherfuck. I could get pack a bunch three right now, but our gun's doing perfectly fine at the moment. And I need to save the money for hitting the box. Because I have no idea when I'm going to get this fucking RPD. So I did say to remember to pack a punch three, but we might not need it until we actually start using the RPD. Okay, I'm about to spend all my points in the box. And we'll see if we get it. I got to find it first, though. Found the bastard. Oh my god, we got a first spin on this one. Let's go. Okay, I want to make sure that I keep this thing. We already did like the mule kick math earlier, but I don't know how confident I am in it. So I'm switching out the MAC-10 with the RPD. And then we'll grab it with this. And I think that should be good, right? At least I hope so. These attachments look terrible. Like, damn, only 50 rounds in the base mag. We need to upgrade this or reroll the attachments on it. I think it's already gold, though. We don't got to waste a uh, salvage. Reroll. Still 50 round. Reroll. 46. We're, we're going backwards. Reroll. Back to 50. At least it's got a red dot now. Whatever. It'll get more ammo when we pack a punch it. We'll get this bad boy pack a punched. One and two. And now we're good to go once we finish this. I just wish there was like a good grind spot on this map. I basically just have to train around and then pop ring of fire. That's the only thing we can do. Maybe I should reroll the attachments on this piece of shit too. Because I know there's a barrel out there that increases uh, the damage rate and the firing rate. Like, it's like the same as the M16 barrel. Let's do a quick reroll. Okay, we got a red dot on it now. Maybe a better barrel. 
Maybe not, but uh, I'm just gonna assume it's better. But we do have enough to get it to legendary, so we might as well. Oh, we got to level 50. Oh, it wasn't even level 50 yet. Okay, so we still got jackrabbit kills to do with this on top of crits. Damn, I thought I had a level 50. There we go. Now we're getting jackrabbits. There's another jackrabbit camo. We just need a few more of those and we're good to go. Oh, those are banished. Okay, we're all done with crits. So we'll actually be all good to go once we get all these jackrabbits. That's all we need right now. Let's just really try not to get hit here. There's another one and we hit round 30. So we'll have to put this camo grinding on pause and get these chakras aligned. All right, now we got the triangle pose. So as, put our legs as far out as possible. Hit the T pose on them. Angle the feet forward. Lean forward and touch. Oh, geez. Okay. All right, we'll try this out. So this is the pose we're trying to recreate. All right. Legs very far apart. Now, bam, turning them. Then we're gonna take our, our T pose and we're gonna go down like this. Oh, fuck. I'm not very flexible. Bring the arm up. This is stupid. How the fuck? Ah. Uh, Easy. Damn, dude, I could feel something like tearing on that one. I don't know how people contort themselves like that. That shit is wild. Okay, this should be a surefire way to get some jackrabbits. Throw the decoy, hit the ring of fire. Throw another decoy while that expires. Bars. There's a jackrabbit. There's our glitch camo. We're getting closer. And while we got a little bit of time in between these rounds, I'm gonna make sure our RPD is ready to go. I'm gonna grab pack three and probably just throw cryo. Kai, right? Hold on, I'm having a stroke. Cryo freeze onto our RPD just because we're getting to a higher round here. Gonna need to slow him down a little bit. Okay, this mangler has to go if we want any jackrabbits because he's gonna just keep shooting us. Same with this disciple giving us the super suck. Actually, you know what? Why don't I hit him with a fucking little chopper gunner? Can I pick out which is which? Okay, so disciple dead. That disciple should be dead. There we go. Where's the mangler? There's the big boy. Sleep. Oh, and an abomination. Guess what? Gone. Plague Hound, also gone. Anyone else? That's what I thought. I know there's another Disciple. Whatever. I think this might be just one of those rounds where Disciples and Megatons are just going to spawn to replace the ones that you kill. We might just have to try to tough through it. We just got to keep moving. Oh, and there's our attack rifles diamond. Okay. We only got our RPD left to do for this game. Let's fucking go, dude. That's two Plague Diamonds in the same game. Now the real pain starts. I gotta get like 1,500 crits with this. But at least it'll be a little bit better with Ring of Fire. I won't have to single fire all these zombies. And I hope that this is already level 50. That way our, our jackrabbits can just get done right here and right now. Oh, there we go. Speaking of them. Quick little glitch camo. Oh, and there's our chemical. Racking up the camos. And there's our conviction. So it is now confirmed that all we need is crits. There's our threshold. So when we're at... I don't even know how many. I guess when we're at... Uh, a thousand or 2,400 will be done. I'm gonna die right here. Let's not do that. Dying is probably bad for us. Oh, let's not die again. Okay, or die. I mean, whatever whatever works. That fucking decoy sure as hell didn't. I have to self-revive here. This quick revive ain't gonna get me up. Let's just buy our self-revive back. I'm getting a death machine and I'm going for the Wonder Fizz. And we did end up losing our M16 or M14. Or fucking DMR-14. Whatever the hell it's called. No matter. It's done anyways. Oh, and it's back. Let's go. I forgot that you actually get it back with Mule Kick. I thought it was gone forever. Just for fun, a, little, a quick little box spin. And it's the ray gun, of course. I'll take that. Can't believe how well the RPD's doing at like fucking around 37. Kind of insane. Until I am about to go down right here. Okay, the decoy actually worked. And this should be the round right here. Okay. Now, since we are getting kind of close to getting this done... I'm going to try to find a more difficult pose. Okay, this one was easy. Is there a more difficult looking one here? Yoga poses for constipation. Gas relief. People be doing this to shit. Masters. Nothing's really showing up here. Let's do difficult yoga poses. Top 10 hardest yoga poses. Okay. Yeah, ain't no way I can do that shit. Next is this one. Okay, can we do one where I'm not holding myself up? Okay, maybe those don't exist. I can't do a headstand. I'll die. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll try this one on the door. If I die, though, this is on y'all. Okay. I'm going to regret this for sure. Oh, how do I even... Okay, let's try this. Maybe I do one of these. Um... 
top. What if I, um... Nope, I'm not doing it. Can't do it. Next. Difficult yoga poses for beginners. Five hard yoga poses made Hi, easy. The splits? Fuck no. Next. I know y'all are just trying to do this to see my ass, and it's not happening. What is the crow pose? I'm feeling kind of bird-like. Okay, hell no. Dancer pose. I don't got a strap, though. So I have to yank my fucking leg behind my head? All right. I'll bite. I don't got a strap, so I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Okay, so leg coming up. Ah. Holy shit, look at me go. Oh. I'm insane. I'm gonna fucking fall. Hold on. Check me out. Wait, don't look. All right, now you can look. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Okay. All right. I'm basically like a, a yoga master at this point. Even if I didn't do these poses to perfection, y'all can't say I didn't try. Y'all trying to make a gamer do athletic shit, and that's just not happening. I've I've yoged to my best ability. And you know what? My chakras feel a little more in line. And I feel a little bit looser. Maybe it's just because I need to stretch more. Oh, motherfuck. The mango just beat my ass. Okay, well, we can't let it end like this. We're very close to getting this one done. Let's toss a quick little decoy right there. Let's buy some back. Let's get our self-revive back. This mangler ain't getting no respect for me. Death machine for you. And these zombies can just go down. I'm gonna need to leave one or two of you, though. That should be good enough to go get our perks back. Right, let's grab dead shot, quick revive, speed call, mule kick, death perception, and PhD. Is that everything? Yep. A little armor repair, and we're good to go. Oh, and there's Gold Viper. Let's go. Woo. So we got three whole weapons done this game and got a little more limber while we're doing it. Let's try to make it to Xfil. We'll see if we can survive. Uh, I need to get rid of this death machine and this abomination. No, holy shit. Very low health, no armor. Not a whole lot of zombies left, though. Now let's make our way towards the radio before we end the round. Actually... I'm grabbing a chopper gunner too, for fun. Go ahead and spawn back in, zombies. Get the fuck out of here. Where's the last dude? Oh, wait, there's two more. That's one. That's two. Where's the radio? Let me use it. No exfil in round 45? Oh, is it after 45? All right, hold on. Give me a minute. Let me go back to spawn and clean this round real quick. Let me get some cashmeres. Toss one right here. Toss another one. Quick little chopper gunner. Is this even going to end the round? I don't think it will. Took out a big chunk though. So let's do it again. Oh wait, I can't call it in. Gotta wait for the other one to leave. I can just nade them too. Why not? I think there's not that many left. There we go. That's round 46. Let's go exfil. Let's get the radio before we get attacked. There we go. Now we just need to go up the rope through the portal and we're back home. Quick little double cashmere again for fun. And let's hit the chopper gunner. This is so fucking satisfying. Just clearing out all these zombies and they're all gone. All right, Raptor 1. It's been a long day. Let's get out of here. Let's fucking go, dude. So that game took us almost 420,000 score. Almost weed. 3,400 eliminations, 2,447 crits, zero revives, and two downs. Not terrible for getting three guns done in the same game. Now I'll get this after action report. All these camos done. How close are we to Dark Aether now? We check on this. Only two classes away, just LMGs and ARs, and we're done. And just taking a quick peek at these, this is our MAC-10 with a little plague diamond on it. SMGs, done. Here's our DMR-14 with a little plague diamond. TAC rifles done and for our lmgs we got this bad boy gold viper but we still need one more lmg to finish that class and then i think maybe two or three ars and then we're all done with the uh, dark aether so this has been a very weird video but we got a decent amount of progress done that's two weapon classes left only the ARs and the LMGs, and then we are completely done. So I think in total, like three, maybe four weapons, and we have Dark Aether. But I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.